Okay. Hello, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Coffee and Conversation. Today, I am pleased to be here with Anne Scotland. Anne is an award-winning writer, podcaster, and founder of the Power of the Joy Institute, or pardon me, the Power of Joy Institute, and the author of a beautiful 286-page book, Live for Joy. Anne also appeared as a feature heart-centered business in my Opal, Writers Mag Opal Rising magazine in the March issue. Hello, Anne, and thank you so much for joining me here today. How are you? Hi, Cindy. I am so happy to be here and so thrilled to talk to you again. I always enjoy our conversations, so it's wonderful. Thank you. So, you know, I'm going to just jump into it. Um, so um, about the Power of Joy Institute, mm -hmm. what inspired you to create the Institute? Yes. So um, I just started realizing that there's so many, I mean, I've been in the industries of emotional wellness and motivation for over a decade. And so many of us, whether we're teachers, coaches, trainers, uh, you know, if we're self-employed, if we're running our own businesses, I realized that we're all kind of like trying to reinvent the same wheel. And I thought, how amazing would it be if people in particular around joy and emotional wellness um, could come together and collaborate both to reach more people, to make more income, and to create a bigger impact because we can offer services free or otherwise all in one place around a theme. And um, whenever I bounced that off people who are on, were on my podcast or anything else, they were like, yes, please, please, let's do that. So that was the original intention and uh, we're still building it out. We just started it last year. So it's still under construction, but people are really excited. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Um, I did check that out, actually, and I was really impressed by that. I also checked a couple of your podcasts, oh. and um, I had a note here. Um, yeah, Scotland Talks. <laughs> Scotland. Tell, tell me about your show. Tell us about your show. Yes. So um, it's a weekly show, it comes out on Thursdays uh, on YouTube and all the audio platforms as well, Apple um, Google, whatever your, you know, Spotify, your preference is. And um, yeah, it's a anywhere from 10 to 30 minute show. And we talk specifically either myself alone or often with a guest. We talk specifically around joy and particularly how it impacts the, our work life balance or oh, I call yeah. it work life integration. Cause I'm like, we don't have work over here and life over here anymore. It's like really all mashed together, right? No <laughs> kidding. No <laughs> kidding. Yeah. That's my biggest struggle is balance. Yes. Balancing. So hard. Yeah. Because everything that I do is from home right now. So, you know, even this, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's at home, my background home, <laughs> you know, you might see a cat walk through, but <laughs> oh, I <love> that. <laughs> yeah, I actually yeah. love that. I love it because also things have changed so much in two years from our first introductions to using Zoom and doing, you know, doing so much of so much more video podcasting and interviews. And it's kind of it's become a more casual environment. You know, we mm -hmm. don't have, to have the fake backgrounds anymore. <laughs> yeah, know, people, are, people are actually finding it more interesting to have, you know, especially in podcasting, at least people more accessible as opposed to, you know, a big set. Now, I'm an actress also, so I still <laughs> love a big set from time to time. In fact, I'm like, I need to redesign whatever's behind me right now because I'm like, this needs to shift this way. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's so much easier now. Oh, yeah. Um, there was one, one of the shows that I watched. And you had, I, I'm sorry, I lost the title to it. Oh, no problem. Um, you had some tips on there, and I can't yeah. jog my memory here, Anne. Okay, I'm thinking there's so many things that I talk about on there. Um, yeah, sorry, I just, I forgot to write it worry. down. Well, I can, <laughs> um, you want to, I could give you some um, writer tips that I have around joy. Would that be a good one? Absolutely. Let's okay, go with cool. that. All right. So I think there's one in there somewhere around that. So, um, okay. So yeah. So how do you keep the joy in writing? You know, because 
we are writers because it fills a void in us. It feeds our soul. It really makes us glow, shine, right? We just feel like we're in our element when we're writing. Um, but it's not always the case when you have big deadlines or when you're stuck, when you have block, um, you know, how do you kind of keep the joy in writing or when your project isn't going the way you want or you're not getting published or etc. cetera. So, um, so I have like three points. Um, and feel free to comment anytime. I just, I'll throw them out there. So number one, okay. keep it fresh. So if you are a fiction writer, for example, um, you know, whenever you hit a bump or you are just feeling like, ugh, got to write today, you get the creative juices flowing in another way. It doesn't even have to be writing. It could be anything, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it could be, you know, um, write a short story in half an hour just for fun. Um, mm -hmm. I love, I grew up writing poetry, love that. My dad was a poet, my grandmother was a poet. Um, so there's like, just, you know, good old fashioned writing that for no one but yourself, or if you're yeah. lucky, it turns into something bigger, right? So like, yeah. keeping it fresh. So instead mm -hmm. of just being like, ah, I'm in this rut, I have to turn this out and I'm stuck here. It's like, oh, give yourself some joy back. Remember yeah. why you love the writing and take that pressure off so that's yeah what those deadlines are actually inspiration killers <laughs> they are it's so yeah. hard yeah yes yeah yes. and I can relate to that too as well from the acting point of view because you know you lo I love acting I love going into character but then when you have big auditions there's all this pressure there's all these lines to memorize and get exactly right and yeah. it's sort of like the creative side kind of pulls back a little bit. Exactly. Like, yeah, so it's gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so true. Um, the second point was don't be attached to the outcome. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> it sounds pretty simplistic, but to keep the joy in your writing, yeah, don't stay attached to the outcome or don't be attached to the outcome because remember that it's about the joy of creating. Remember that, you know, there's multiple ways to get what you create out to the world. And if, you know, if you get picked up, great. If you don't, fine. You know, you can still self-publish. You can create articles. You can create a mini series. You can create, there is endless ways. I say, yeah. never waste anything you create. You can, you don't, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can mm -hmm. always use what you've created and repackage it in any number of ways. So don't be attached to the outcome because that is a guarantee of being down on yourself in the whole process. Right. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. And then the third point is really a follow-up to that, which is to really celebrate your wins. So even if they're small wins, you know, we're all such professionals at critiquing ourselves and giving ourselves negative feedback and, you know, being hard on ourselves and, oh, I should have done this. I should have gotten that done. I'm so far behind. It's like, okay, whatever you get, even a small win, you know, whether it's mm -hmm. a new podcast, whether it's, you know, one article, it doesn't matter. You know, celebrate it. Enjoy it. Remember, this is why you got into it in the first place. Because you really want to keep that joy of lighting light, uh, the joy of writing alive. Otherwise, it's going to just become like a hard work. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna give you another challenge here. Yay! Now that was for for writers. You know how to how to um, you know find the joy in, in their writing. What about for like I've got the magazine Opal Rising magazine, which is for you know the the heart centered businesses. Mm -hmm. Um, holistic practitioners, energy healers. Mm -hmm. What what have you got? What have you got for us? That yeah, for the healers. Oh my yeah. God. For anyone around healing energy, people in their own business, uh, I would have to say my folk. I've just put a lot of time in the last year and a half into um, working to heal the healers because beautiful. There is yeah. so much pressure on the people who are in the trenches really doing the work, mm -hmm. um, either financially, because depending on what you offer, you know, whether that's extremely lucrative or not, there's financial pressure, um, there's emotional pressure. And if you do, you know, I'm empathic, I, you know, I, I'm more of a coach and a teacher, but you take on a lot from the people you work with. And yeah. You have to have your own balance. Otherwise, it really kind of clogs up your your flow with the universe. You know, you have to kind of. So finding more support around doing the health care. I've worked a mm -hmm. lot of uh, health and just well-being. I've worked a lot with um, uh, professionals, uh, mental, mental wellness professionals who are working with, uh, you know, underserved populations, with inner city youth. 
uh, and they're just so burned out. And mm -hmm. I've worked a lot in like, let's come together, take a breath. It's just like we, you know, we tell moms, unless you're taking good care of yourself, you're not going to bring your best self. So give yourself permission to take a break, to be kind to yourself, to realize that just doing more doesn't always make the bigger impact. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. And it's oh. so easy to do, bringing joy mm -hmm. back in. You know, it's just the little things. And that's what I teach too. I'm like, no, nothing I teach, none of my processes or programs, none of it is okay. You know, <laughs> you have to like memorize this huge thing or you have to spend an hour a day doing this or you're going to have to, you know, sit cross-legged for 20 years. It's like, no, <laughs> <laughs> nothing against that. But <laughs> can we just find simple ways to brighten our life, to make it more interesting, to find what is pulling the joy out, and then also mm -hmm. discover what is pulling the joy in, which reminds me of a freebie I have for your audience. Excellent. So okay. I have, I have um, a color illustrated one week joy journal. Um, it is beautiful. It's just two questions in the morning and two mm -hmm. questions at night. It doesn't have to be longhand journaling. It's just really simple. It's just raising your awareness around your joy. Where did it go? Where did it come back and refill, refill from? So mm -hmm. it's, um, you can type in it digitally or you can print it out in color, whatever makes you feel the best. So that secret location, cause it's not on the website unless you know, is anscotland.com slash joy journal. Okay. So Anne Scotland, and if you're listening to this on an audio, that's A N N E S C O T T L I N, AnnScotland.com slash Joy Journal. And it's a great way for anyone, healers, business people, but especially those who have a creative soul and a healing soul, to just, you know, a simple thing that takes a few minutes to get kind of locked back into your joy and, and find what's pulling it out and just kind of have an awareness. Oh, thank you so much. Um, and, uh, you know, for um, viewers and for listeners, I'm going to have those links. I'm going to get those from Anne and I'm going to put those links um, on the on the on the podcast and on the video so that uh, they'll have access to your gift. And well, thank you so much for joining me here today. Anne. this has been such a beautiful conversation. Thank you. So I hope you <laughs> pardon me. Lovely to speak with you and just thank you for all the work you do. You help us, all of us writers, so much by being so generous with your time. And I know it's not easy. So thank you Aww. from all of us as well. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much. All right. Okay, bye, everybody.